Hey, good morning everybody. It is uh, 5.45 a.m. and I'm headed to the shop. It's manufacturing day, baby. Let's do it. Oh, what's up hey, everybody? What's up, Titan? What's up? Yeah. KCRA is here, manufacturing day. Nice Let me hold this. How are you, man? I'm Titan. Jeff. Nice to Jeff, meet you, man. Cameraman, Brian. Nice, nice. Stuart coming in early for us. Stuart coming in at 5 a.m. Yeah. He's already been on TV. He's been on yeah, TV. Yeah, he did a good, a good job. Talked about Rockland High and all the work you've done there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, he's a champ, right? Yeah. Going over there to dedicate his time to our local teachers and stuff. Helped me with my drawing this morning, so yeah. we're uh, yeah. we're ready to go. That's it. I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to have my first part, man. Oh, I've had this day on the calendar for months. I'm here with this guy, Titan oh. Gilroy. This guy is teaching me how to be a machinist. Today, I'm machining this. Someday, I want to be making this. I'll tell you how, coming up. So you just started like, you went to fusion from a knee? Like you didn't need Yeah, to so my dad's an electrician and you always say, you got a problem, find a solution. That's, it, right? that's, that's how he operates. So he had a problem, makes these little boxes, he welds them, comes home from work after a day of work, makes these little boxes. But finally he got a patent on an electrical box, but that's where it ended. I thought, I think I could figure out how to make one of these things. I have a 3D printer, but I didn't really know how to create it. So I started dabbling in fusion 360 Right. I started looking for tutorials and then boom, up pops Titans of CNC Academy. I'm like, well, how much is this going to awesome. cost me? It's free. So here's my little rough drawing. This is this took me a year of just on my own trying to figure out Fusion 360. And then once I found your academy, I have some work to do because I got to go in and clean this up. I know I can do better from yep. what I've learned from you. And check out what he brought out for us this morning. Look at this thing that he made, the Titans of CNC chessboard. Chessboard made out of titanium, 1604 feet titanium. So in the academy, I can learn how to make this. Yep. This is free for everyone. We teach you by going through tutorials how to make every single piece here. Yeah, but uh, but that's how it all started. Just uh, I found you online, and one day I'm doing my lessons. I think I was on the 3M, and I down this down the bottom of the screen. I see Rockland. Rockland, what? Right, and there you were right down the street. And here we are. We're practically <laughs> family now. I feel like I'm with the chancellor right now. I'm nervous. <laughs> Hey, good morning, you guys. That's right, Manufacturing Day, the moment of truth. I've manufactured my first part with the help of Titan Gilroy and Titan of CNC. Let's do this, man. Oh, I can't wait to get this thing oh, out of man. here. Ooh. Oh, man. There it is. How's it look, boss? Precision component. Looks beautiful. <laughs> All right, so this is something I drew up. So Titan here, Titan of CNC, they've got a successful machine shop here, but they also have an online academy, Titans of CNC Academy, which is how I found this guy. I signed up as a student. And now I'm here as a reporter. All right, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great manufacturing day. I'm truly blessed today because a teacher by the name of Brian Cummings and Ed Miner, the other teacher in his program from Massachusetts, these guys teach CNC machining. They actually teach the academy, and their their program since starting the academy has actually tripled with students. Like students are just loving the program. It's the buzz of the school. They're cutting chips, they're making it happen. But they, they became one of the top SME teachers for the United States and they, they got a grant and they took their money to actually come out to California to actually come and talk to me, right? And my team and basically talk manufacturing and next steps for their program. So we're gonna uh, have them over here. And because they were here, I knew some other teachers in the area. We invited them and we're gonna have a little round table and uh, just, just talk to the educators. It's all about lifting these guys up so they can lift up our teachers. This is Cody, he is a teacher. And what school do you teach at? I teach at Yerington High School in Yer Nevada. Ooh, teaching our kids, right? The hero. <laughs> so check this out. So what do you, you use the, the academy to teach your kids? I absolutely use the academy and save my bacon. Save and my was, bacon, yeah, that's I awesome. Was, I was uh, drowning, drowning fast and uh, and uh, the, I ran across the academy and and uh, got us on the map. That's awesome. So how did you get into uh, schools? Like, how did you start teaching machine shop? Well, um, they wanted a, a machining program, and I was the only one willing to do it. So they threw me into the into the fire, and uh, you know, using the academy, I got us afloat and got us some machines and. Uh, the rest is all just uh, history. Right. And you guys do welding and fabricating. Yeah, we do. We do a little bit of everything. Coach and I coached and yeah, coached twenty five years and uh, I'm involved with. Uh, we have sheet metal. We do welding. We do even woodworking. 
Um, and then on top of it all, we use the academy for the machining part. That's awesome. So you guys are doing a lot of mill parts and stuff, and now you're getting a lathe? Yep, we're getting a lathe. We, we've had the, the mill for uh, about a year now, and uh, we're moving on and, and bringing in a brand new lathe in the next couple of months. That's awesome. Making it happen. Mm -hmm. The future of the workforce, the next generation. We are so blessed to have teachers just like this. Thank you. Uh, and my boy, Brian Cummings, right here. How are you? How are you doing? How are uh, you? So where are you from? Worcester, Massachusetts. We're like family already, right? We are. We've been yeah. in an internet dating. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> good, good, uh, good, uh, year and a half, two years now, ever yeah. since meeting awesome. in Maine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you're a teacher? I am. And I... Uh, you work with uh, inner city kids. I do at Worcester, Worcester Technical High School. It's a population of about twenty six thousand students and about fourteen hundred in our school. That's awesome. Another hero. Look at this right here, teaching the kids. Teaching a lot of these kids would never have an opportunity if it wasn't for manufacturing, right? That's right. That's right. Give them make it so they can actually mm -hmm. make some good money and make yeah. it happen. Yeah. That's awesome. So what have you seen? Like, so use the academy and use some different things. And yeah, we implemented the academy into right into our freshman exploratory program uh, last year. And we ended up tripling our, our regular uh, annual, um, annual. You tripled? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Like you, you had like, you were down to like seven students we or were, something. We were getting ready to pull the plug on the program. It was getting down to seven students. And we, uh, we spent the next couple of years rebuilding it with trying to find the right right curriculum, right equipment, right supplies, right partnerships, and uh, and we found a partnership in you, and, and yeah, that's uh, awesome. that's added, awesome. added a substantial amount of students to the program. And, and a new teacher. And a new teacher. He's over here filming us, us as we film. Today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep, and we came yeah. out, and this is uh, the best professional development opportunity that we could we could have that's as a awesome. teacher. Yeah, you were picked here. as one of the top top teachers by SME, mm -hmm. right? You got mm -hmm. a grant, yeah, SME Prime. and he chose his grant to spend his money to come here. out and hang out over here. Mm -hmm. And with Mr. Dan Frank standing right. over here from Rockland High School. So I, I definitely wanted to catch Shaney before Shaney was gone, awesome. and um, our relationship with, with Titan over the last couple of years, and the, the academy implementing it, what it's done for our program. And someone here at the table asked, uh, uh, great question on community engagement. We've done a lot of projects such as making the keys to the city for the mayor's office. We've done medallions and challenge coins for our police department, things like that, all designed by the students, all different ideas, customs. Uh, we've been doing keys to the city. Those kinds of jobs, although they're not municipal in, in cost, but they have so much, um, so much staying power in being able to um, you know, just promote promoting um, material to be able to, they come in and they see the key to the city that was highlighted, that'll be highlighted in our new show that's coming up. Um, the students and I and Ed worked, you know, till about nine o'clock the night before we came here to do this. This is the typical challenge coin that we do, but one made special for you and for the Academy. And I'd also like to send one to Shaney oh, awesome. uh, in a couple of weeks. Shaney. Um, because Shaney's been okay, been the go-between and and really working together and and uh, you know outfitting our shop, making our kids look great with the Titan Academy shirts on. And, and Shaney, you want to come over? And um, we're gonna we're gonna make a second one, but this was running the night before, so this is for you. You won't. Oh my! <laughs> Are you kidding me? You that is crazy. Dandy. I'm on a coin. <laughs> we had a, so, we had a, soft, a sophomore a actually sophomore, did yeah. that 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 image yeah, that's to awesome. be able to do that. That's crazy. A sophomore actually did that. No, because I might leave some out. Leave some out. <laughs> yeah. And just so like um, so Shaney knew that they were coming. I didn't tell Shaney that anybody else was coming. And so. But then they know they know each other because Shaney's in the group. So get in the group. So she, it, so she loves, know why she's popular? She gives away all her stuff to everyone. <laughs> hey, it's the end of the day. What an amazing day it was. Manufacturing day. You know, I've, I've dedicated my life. My team has de dedicated their lives to this trade, to lifting it up. And uh, today, today was truly special from, you know, five o'clock in the morning, you know, coming in here in the dark and getting on TV. I think they did like eight different slots with us, bringing awareness to over 100,000 people. 
And um, that, that was, I went to lunch and people were like, I saw you on TV today. And I was like, oh man, it's so good. They're like, you manufacture in this town? I'm like, yep. See, bringing awareness. And then we basically had a bunch of teachers come in, had a round table, had a real discussion about technology, about where we are today, where we need to be, right? You know, talking about, you know, just how we need to change manufacturing and change the, the processes and, and basically have vision for the future, have great respect for the past, but go after the future and change it because our kids can do it. You guys saw that coin that they gave me? A 15 year old did that. A 15 year old in one day figured out how to actually machine and, and get the drawing of Titan on that coin and do it. A 15 year old. These kids are like way too smart. So let's give them the right curriculum to make it all happen. So uh, academy.titans of CNC, anybody can go on there and actually make it happen. You guys have a great weekend. Be blessed. Take care of your families. Just, just enjoy. That's what it's all about. Work hard, play hard. Boom, I'm out.